Delta Control, this is Gamma 1, over. Delta Control, this is Gamma 1, over. This is Delta Control, go ahead, Gamma 1. Max? Is that you, Max? Yeah, Ernie, it's me. What's the problem? <sighs> Buddy, I'm lost. Lost? You're hauling a top secret military device. What are you doing lost? Well, I, got, I got mixed up on the interchange, and now I'm off the freeway. I, I just don't know how to get back on. Can you see a street sign anywhere? Uh, yeah. I'm on Prairie, uh, just past 6th. I'm gonna try 23 centimeters. Come on, Mel, enough already. We're close, I know it. We've been at it for 12 hours straight. 12 hours? What time is it? It's almost 6 a.m. <sighs> Amazing how time flies when you're having fun, huh? That's it. You start doing corny one-liners, it's time to quit. Just one more shot. We have to solve this iceberg problem. No. I got a better idea. What? It's Saturday morning. Why don't we go on back to my place? I'll fix you the best eggs Benedict you ever had. Canadian bacon. What's that? I don't know. Once upon a time, a junk man had a dream. I want to build a spaceship, go to the moon, salvage all the junk that's up there, bring it back, sell it. So he put together a team, an ex-astronaut, a fuel expert. They built a rocket ship, and they went to the moon. Who knows what they'll do next?
Give me some light, Skip. Mel, what are we doing? It needs help. We don't know anything about robots. Then we're gonna learn. I've never seen anything like this. Please help me. Fella? Hey, fella, you okay? Of course he's not okay. Can't you see he's in pain? Help me. Robots don't feel pain, Mel. Pain. Well, this one does. Pain. Where does it hurt? Starboard quadrant. Right side. There, I think. Damage location confirmed. It's a stainless feed line. It's badly crimped. Can you see it? Yeah. I, I think I can fix it. I don't know, Mel. Looks like a major control artery. I think we need an expert. There's not enough time, Skip. Look, he's fading fast. We're gonna have to do something. It's a risk. But do you want us to try to fix it? Yes, please. Get me the smallest needle nose flowers we have. Right. Got it? Yeah. Take the line. Can you see? Yeah, I got it. Now. Careful. That's it. Continue. Sir? Who are you? What are you? Where do you come from? Um, the who? Who do you belong to? I, uh, I, I can't remember. I, I, I think I lost my memory. Terrific. A robot with amnesia. I think we better call Harry. Over here, Mr. Klinger. Gentlemen, was this robot immobilized for shipment? We had it on cryogenic suspension, but this carton was smashed on the impact. Once the liquid nitrogen leaked out, the robot would revive. This lid looks like it was broken open from the inside. That means the robot could have left here under its own power. That's my theory. Did you organize a search party? That's negative. We don't want military personnel reconnoitering the civilian area. The news media would be on us like a swarm of locusts. I understand, General. I'll get my men right on it. Mr. Klinger, I want a report from you personally every 30 minutes. I want that robot back. Yes, 
officer. I'm very well aware of the danger. Gamma unit XM-1, Myrmidon, that's it? It's the only identification we've been able to find. Myrmidon, Myrmidon. The name sounds familiar. Doesn't mean anything to any of us, including Don. Don? That's what we call him. It's short for Myrmidon. And, uh, he doesn't remember anything? Not about himself. At least not so far. We figure he must have been in quite an accident. His memory banks have been badly jolted. His memory circuits are sealed, so I can't be sure. But usually they're made out of liquid crystal, which has a certain self-regenerating property. Oh, you, you mean uh, it might regain its memory? Already has, to a certain extent. Oh, Don. Yes, sir? What's the square root of 82,426.41? 287 .1. Right on the money. Good Lord. We've tested his math all the way up to advanced calculus. Still haven't been able to stump him. What else can he do? It do. Watch this. Don? Yes, sir? Make a camshaft. Yes, sir. That was marvelous. Thank you, sir. Uh, Don, where, uh, where are you from? I don't remember, sir. Turn it off and let's talk. Doesn't seem to be any way to do that, Harry. Uh, OK, Don, take 10. Say what, sir? Uh, I'll relax. You know, cool it, at ease. Yes, sir. Where'd you learn that? Learn what, sir? That position. I don't remember, sir. Um, Don? Yes, sir? What's that panel in your chest? I don't remember, sir. It's the door to a sealed box that's inside him, Harry. We haven't been able to figure out how to open it up. Don? Yes, sir? Can you open that panel? I, I don't remember how, sir. Don't worry, Don. You'll get your memory back. Don, do you, do you know what it means to concentrate? Concentrate. Yes, sir. OK. I want you to concentrate real hard and see if you can remember anything about yourself. Yes, sir. Anything? I, 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 I see an airplane. Now, what kind of airplane? Now I see a tank. Uh, a storage tank? No, sir. Now I see a group of men. What are they doing? Oh, no. No! Don, what's wrong? Please, don't. Don't what? No. Please, 
Don't send me back. I don't want to go back. Don't send me back. What do you mean, don't send you back? Send you back where? I don't remember. Try, Don, try. Sir, I just can't. That's enough, Harry. Well, he's just gonna need a little time. Harry? Oh, hi, Mac. Hi. It's okay, it's just, just a robot. Hey, Mac. Hi, Mac. Skip, Mel. Mac, say hello to Marmadon, Don for short. Hey, Don. Good morning, sir. It's okay, he won't hurt you. <laughs> ah! Hey. All right. Right up. <laughs> Thank you. Pay attention, fellas. This is what we're going to do. Houston and Fraser, Sector C. Steele and Peters, Sector D. Wilson and Brown, Sector E. I'm going to take Sector F. Now, we play a very low profile. Easy on a discussion. We don't want to cause any panic. Make sure that you check in, each of you, once every half hour. Are there any questions? Let's go. Jim, let me take a look at that Sector F again. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a very expensive piece of equipment. We've got to find out who it belongs to and take it back. But it doesn't want to go back. Mel! No, Harry, Mel's right. It's not like Don's a machine. Oh? No, he has feelings. Why, Don's practically human. Uh, no, wait, now, wait, uh, wait. All right, all right. I know this sounds crazy, but we saved his life. We nursed him through the night. Harry, we watched him grow stronger and, and smarter. Well, you saw him earlier. I'm listening to you. I don't believe I'm listening to you, but I'm listening to you. And I suppose it's possible for anyone to become fond of anything. But the bottom line is, he belongs to somebody else. Obviously, you're right. But... What's the big hurry? What are you getting at? Don's the most incredible machine I've ever seen. You know, maybe we could study him for a few days. You know, see what he can really do. We might learn to make our own. What do you say, Harry? Just a couple of days? Sorry, we're closed. You're gonna put it that way? I don't know. I think first thing Monday morning, we gotta start looking for the owner. What do we do? Put an ad in the lost and found? Lost robot? Call Jettison Salvage. Harry! Jack Klinger's in your office. Has he seen? No, I made sure he didn't see it. Hide it. Where can we hide him? Plain sight. Hi, Jack. Oh, hello, Harry. What happened to your fence? Um, forklift action. Oh. Welcome. No, thanks. What are you doing out on the weekend? Ah, uh, you'll probably think I'm kidding. Try him. I'm trying to find a missing robot. You're kidding? No. Nope. You're not kidding? No. Nope. What's, what's this robot look like? Between 5'7", five, 5'8", five, made out of heavy steel, weighs around seven, 800 pounds. Seven, 800 pounds. Yep. You don't see too many heavy steel robots around here. 
I don't know for sure, but I imagine there's something about being around a junkyard probably makes them kind of nervous. Who's he belong to? Well, I can't tell you that, Harry. Why not? Security. Oh, you were security like top secret? That's right. Jack, does the military have anything to do with this? I'm sorry, Harry. Can't say any more to you. You keep your eyes open. You hear anything about a robot, you call me at my office. Call your office. I thought you were closed Saturday. Oh, uh, the new man needs a little overtime. Oh. Now look, Harry, about that robot. If you see it, don't touch it. Why not? Harry, I'm going to say something to you. I want you to accept it with no questions, OK? That robot is dangerous. I mean, deadly dangerous. Don? Dangerous? Come on, I can't believe that. You were right, Harry. It is from Greek mythology. What is? Myrmidon. It's right here in the book. Myrmidon was the name of a group of people involved in the Trojan Wars. Soldiers. More than that. They were a special breed of warriors who would do anything they were told without question. They weren't soldiers. They were killers. It's just a coincidence. Couldn't have anything to do with Don. What are you doing? I think I know a way to find out. Harry. Ten foot. Foul face. See? I told you he had something to do with the military. Don? Yes, sir? Are you a soldier? I don't remember, sir. Don? Yes, sir? I'm going to show you something that just might bring back some memories. I want you to pay close attention. Yes, sir. reacting to the gun. Intruders in the compound! Alert the guards! Hey, hey, easy, 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 easy. Target in sight! Don, no! No, it, it, isn't, it isn't loaded. Look, no, see, see, it isn't loaded. Disarming fire! <laughs> fire to destroy! No survivors! No, no, Don, friends, friends! No survivors! Friends! Fire to destroy! No survivors! Don, no! No survivors! Don, it's Melanie. Remember? I helped you. I, I, I took away your pain. Please, put the gun away. What have I done? What have I done? It's okay, Don. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so terribly sorry. Well, you probably couldn't help yourself. You saved my life, and this is how I pay you back. Don, Don, it's fine. It's fine. I shouldn't be allowed around decent people. I'm not fit to live. Don. Just not fit to live. Get a hold of yourself. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, Don? Yes, sir? Do you know what just happened? I'm not sure, sir. You spoke in a different voice. I did? Yes. And there's a laser gun inside you. There is? There certainly is. Don, open the panel and let's have a look at that gun. Sir, I don't know how. Please, sir, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to stay here and work with you. There are things inside me that I don't understand, things I don't want to remember, things that frighten me. Oh, wow. Don, I'm going to ask you to try to remember one more thing. 
Now, it's very important. I'll try, sir. Think very carefully. Yes, sir. Don, where were you created? The United States Army Research Laboratory. Messenger about ten minutes ago. You're welcome. May I help you, sir? I'd like to see someone in charge. Do you have an appointment? No. Oh, well, in that case, sir, may I suggest you address a letter to the lab stating the nature of your request? I'm sure somebody will get back to you within a reasonable time. I don't think I want to do that. I'm sorry, sir. These are procedures that must be followed. Let's make an exception, okay? I think you better get someone important on the phone right now. Just mention the name Myrmidon. Myrmidon? That's right. I don't know the name, sir. I'm sure someone will. Yes, this is the reception desk. There's a Mr. Myrmidon here to... Myrmidon. M-E-R-M-A-D... I thought that might get their attention. Where is the robot? What robot? Oh, Mr. Broderick, you're in this thing way over your head. Do you understand? Way over your head. Now, I demand that you tell me what you know about the robot. Excuse me, General, if I may. You see, I know this man. He's a horse trader. He wants to swap information. What? It's taken us a long time, Jack, and we've been through a lot. But I'm glad we're finally getting to know one another. Never mind that, Harry. What do you want to know? All about the robot. That is classified information. I know it. Do you think we'd trust you? I think under the right conditions we can, sir. After all, he is a colonel in the Air Force Reserve. He does have security clearance. Gentlemen, I think we have to accommodate this man. Mr. Broderick, the Army is in deep, deep trouble. What kind of trouble? I'll tell you what kind of trouble. This country has produced a generation gone soft. Oh, you're finding it kind of hard to get soldiers for your new volunteer army. Not hard. Impossible. And since the army can't recruit the perfect soldier, the general and I had to create one. Myrmidon. A dedicated fighting unit capable of handling any war machine. Guns, boats, tanks, even aircraft. And also capable of repairing them. I see. I also gave Myrmidon certain sensory characteristics. Yes, my friend, and that's where you made your big mistake. General, we've been over this point interminably. Mr. Broderick, I'd like your opinion. If you were designing a war machine, wouldn't you give it rational abilities, so it wouldn't be able to damage itself or jeopardize its mission? Sure. Yes, there. but you went too far. I mean, those sensors gave him the ability to think, to make independent judgment. I told you and warned you throughout the entire input stage, be careful, careful of the films. What films? When we were programming the robot to fight, we showed it old war movies, and it worked fine. Yes, except for one film. What film is that? And I made the mistake of showing it all quiet on the Western Front. We can't have soldiers constantly asking for a reason to fight. They have to obey orders without question. The robot was giving you trouble? Uh, yesterday at Fort Gunderson, the robot was being tested. It uh, refused certain orders. <laughs> refused? Yeah. And the general became uh, angry, oh. I believe is the word, <laughs> angry. He went up to the robot and started yelling orders at it. The robot still refused, and the general slapped it. He slapped it? Yes, slapped it. And the robot slapped him back. It took an entire 
rifle company to subdue the robot and ship it back to the lab. Uh, what were you planning to do with the robot when you got it back to the lab? Have it destroyed. Destroyed? Why not just reprogram it? Because, sir, we ran out of funds. Couldn't you get money from the Pentagon? Well... Oh, I see, I see. The Pentagon didn't know about this project. That's right, sir. We were operating with undesignated funds. Now, you give, Harry. What do you know about a robot? OK, you're right, Jack. The robot was at the junkyard. It wandered in on its own, all banged up, and Skip and Melanie managed to fix it up, and then it got away. Got away? Got away. I don't know where it went. But if you find it, I sure would like to buy the salvage rights. Got to be a lot of expensive stuff in that thing. Well, gentlemen, Jack, see you, Harry. Klinger, do you believe? He's got the robot, General. He just doesn't want to give it back. All right, then we'll take it back. Yes, sir. We'll have to do it quietly. If the media gets hold of this, they'll crucify us. Heavy security, Major Connors. Please, you've got to find the circuits that make me a soldier. You've got to remove them. This is impossible. There's nothing even marked. Please, you've got to find them and take them out. We're trying, Don. It's just that without a wiring diagram, we're liable to... Oh, no. What's wrong? Wow, is that clever. What is? Explosive charge? What is it? Don, there's an anti-tamper device inside you. If anyone tries to shut you off or remove one of your memory banks, they'll set off an explosion. You're a walking, talking booby trap, buddy. Can't you do something? Mel, you're the explosives expert. I don't know. Please. I don't want to hurt anyone. I'll tell you what, Don. You're going back to work, and we'll figure out something. Anybody around here will keep a real careful eye on him. Besides, I know that I can figure out some way to remove those combat circuits without damaging him. I know how you feel. And I know somehow there's there's like a soul inside that piece of tin. And, and I know it's calling out for help. And I know I can't turn my back on him. But I'm telling you, the Army knows he's here. And it's only a matter of time before they come here and get him. There is a whole moral issue at stake here that is not just another piece of equipment. He is almost like one of the family. What do you want me to do? Sergeant, you blow them in. Yes, sir. Search warrant. We don't have the time, Harry. That robot's dangerous. You know that? You're stealing government property, Broderick. This'll get you stretched in Leavenworth. I'm sorry. No warrant. No admittance. Jody was there when you left. You're right. Jody was there when you left. You're right. Sound off. One, two. Sound off. Three, four. Eight. Count. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. Inside. Don, no! Now take it easy, Don! Don, relax! 
Sergeant, bring in the squad. Establish a free fire zone. They might have returned fire. No, 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 no. Hey, Don. No, Don. Get the pain away, Don. No. Countdown to fire. Five, four, hey, three, get out of there. two, one. Prepare for salvo! Open fire! Don, Don, friends, Don, Don, relax. Open fire, I said. I can't. The man's in the line of fire. Don, it's us. I right, cut the chain on there. Don, calm down, calm down. Please, sir. I don't want to hurt anyone. I know, Don. You gotta put that gun away. Send him in, sir. Don't shoot unless you have to. All right, let's move. Sir, don't let them take me. Don, you've got to put the gun away. I can't, sir. I don't remember how. Harry, get out of there! You're gonna get hurt! Sergeant. Yes, sir. Send some of the men around to the rear. Yes, sir. You three, circle around the rear. Go, go, go. Get out! You gotta get your men out of here. They're driving him crazy! Sir, they're still coming. Who are those men? Enfilade! Enfilade! Pull back! Don't back! Don't back! Come back! No! Open fire! High ground, man! Take the high ground! Exploit the penetration! Maintain visual contact! General, if you'll just pull your men out of here, men, we can get him to surrender. Now, look, it's too late for that, Broderick. I want him destroyed. Sergeant, sir. move in. Yes, sir. Fire! Follow me, boys. Out of the trenches. Over the top. Bombs away. You dirty rats. Here's one for the kid. Bravo! I read your book. Don! Geronimo! So those old war movies. He's freaked out. Try a trail grenade. No! They're out there, kid. I know they're out Throw there. Throw it, Sergeant! Missile attack! Missile attack! We got him, kid! Marvelous. <laughs> Down and five! That's <laughs> marvelous! Marvelous! He's holding up a whole platoon single-handedly. He's got you stalemated. <laughs> Come on, get me! You rotten hunts! That's it! We're going to contingency two. Call in the airstrike! Airstrike? Are you crazy? This is private property, not the Ho Chi Minh Trail. It'll only take one helicopter gunship, sir. Jack, can't you put a stop to this? It's out of my hands, Harry. You should have leveled with me from the very beginning. Now face it, Broderick, that laser gun is a menace to the entire community. Isn't there some way to disable the gun without destroying the robot? Yes, by obscuring his optical sensors. Obscuring his optical... Sensors! He's been blindfolded. Yes, if he can't see, he can't shoot. Well, that, that's impossible. We can't even get close to him. I, I could. Negative. I, I absolutely forbid it. You forbid it? Well, just who do you think you are? You come marching in here with your commandos, shooting up the place and scaring innocent people half to death. Well, let me tell you something. I don't take my orders from you. This is my junkyard, and I'll do what I darn well please. Mel! Mel! Mel, no. Let go of me! Mel! Now, just don't go too close. Go over here. Don, I want to talk to you! Don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes! It's Melanie! Don, I want to help you! Shoot them in their tracks! Fire! <laughs> Remember the Alamo, sucker! 
Muskip doesn't know me. Come on, Muskip. Remember Pearl Harbor! Come on. You all right? Call in the gunship. I'm not going to let you kill him. Rudder amidships, all engines flank. Give it up, Harry. It's a machine, not a human being. Death before dishonor. Who says he's not a human being? He's emotionally disturbed and he needs help. Lady? Scramble, scramble. Pilots, man your planes. Harry, I got it. The salvage crane. It's right over his head. Yeah. General. If we can get the robot to put the gun away, will you call off the airstrike? It's worth a try, General. You've created enough havoc around here. Away, all boats! All right, we'll give it a shot. I'll have my men draw the robot's fire. OK, let's go. Suppression fire!
you got to say and make it fast. I got to get the pilot junk back to the lab. Well, it's, uh, it, it, it's like the general said. This thing is of no use to the military. It's a pile of junk, right? Well, more or less. OK, I asked you to sell it to me before. And I am in the salvage business, and I'd like to scrap it out. Got to have a lot of good copper and aluminum in there, and I'd cut it up and sell it real fast. Before the uh, Pentagon or the media found out about this killer robot that escaped from the uh, Army Research Lab. Sounds like a good solution, General. Huh? And don't worry about the neighbors complaining about all the shooting. They're used to a lot of noise. Very well. Sergeant, move your men out of here. Yes, sir. Mr. Broderick, be gentle with it. It went a little crazy, but it was my baby. Harry, when are you going to learn to play straight with me? Jack, I guess you can't ask a man to change his nature. <laughs> See you. Bye, Jack. dare cut up Don and sell him for scrap. Harry, what's going on? That's one of Don's memory circuits. Must have fallen out before he exploded. That ought to give you a head start on putting him back together. <laughs> you gotta promise me one thing. Anything. If you ever take him to a movie, Make it a musical. <laughs> <laughs> 